Hey guys, so there's no worse feeling than getting flamed by somebody and you not having a comeback. So today I'm gonna show you five things that DC Young Fly did to completely destroy Azalea Banks. And next time somebody tries you, you could destroy their life. Metaphorically speaking. Especially with number five. Number one, you never wanna let the other person know that whatever they told you bothers you. And this is Azalea Banks' first mistake. Go watch this. My boy Nick Cannon is so petty. How petty is he? He couldn't get caught of me, so he got Azalea ugly ass. Wait a minute. That's not fair. Go ahead, Bobby. Sorry, can I just say that was very empty? What type of dumbass response is that? After that response, DC Young Fly knew that he won. She could have said something like, first of all, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. And second of all, I'm probably gonna pay more money than you to be in this episode. Because <laughs> a response like that takes away any power from what they said. And on top of that, you're shitting on them. So it's just a win-win for you, not for, not for them. Number two, you wanna engage with whoever's around. Because if your joke hits, and the person laughs, you want to use that. Because now it's like you're ganging up on the other guy. And DC Young Fly is a master of this. To laugh around the theater because you're not going to be booking any other work. Ah, honey, this is the ceiling. You need to find your dentist. How do you take your goddamn braces off but you kept the little middle part? Stupid ass, girl. <laughs> she told her, keep the wire. Just keep the wire. <laughs> Number three. Make it quick. Don't take your sweet ass time trying to build up a joke unless you're a hundred percent sure of how it's gonna finish. Cause then you're gonna look like a dumbass. Wait a second, y'all do y'all like follow Instagram and stuff? You know, you know the boy that was like gay and then he came he came out, he came back out and was like, Oh, I don't like me as no more. Yeah, he was like, I don't don't he look like Don't he look just like that kid? <laughs> you do. I'm gonna say for what? Which brings me to number four, pour salt on the wound. What I mean by this is if their jokes aren't hitting, use it. Make them insecure about what they're gonna say next. So if their jokes aren't hitting, exaggerate how bad that joke is. And you're just gonna disarm them. You can see that Azalea Banks is completely demoralized by this point. Oh, be completely honest, like, you live in like a $750 a month apartment and you like, can barely afford it with your wild and out checks, it's honey. Like, yes, honey, you live in a stick house. Damn, 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 you gotta stop, man. You gotta stop. Leave that alone. And number five, and this is my personal favorite, be obnoxious. Just be loud. Like, if they're gonna say something, just talk over them. This works even better once they're already losing the altercation, but you could use this in the beginning too, if you use it right. Be obnoxious. You wanna annoy the fuck out of them, because at the end of the day, you're trying to piss them off, and they're trying to piss you off. And, and there's nothing more beautiful and more satisfying than, than seeing someone just start breaking and getting angry, oof. That's not fair. No. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give a like and subscribe. If you guys want me to make more things like this, let me know in the in the comments. Have a good night, good time, good life. Amazing.